Hello and welcome to my second tutorial uh, creating a dungeon. My name is Daganus and I you can find me on the Skyrim Nexus forum. Uh, yes. Anyway, um, a note for my first tutorial. I had to split it into thirds because um, I don't have a mobile phone for a variety of reasons. Um, so I can only use maximum 15 minute videos. So uh, it's all in a playlist anyway, usually what, what each tutorial. So there's no real need, no real worry there. As you can see here, I've uploaded the companion I created in the um, first tutorial onto the Skyrim Nexus database. Obviously, if you just, I, I'll put in um, the link to the download in the description. Of course, as we go through the tutorials, the stuff I create in those tutorials, I will then add to uh, Skyrim Nexus. So then you can download and um, follow along as I create whatever I'm creating. So today we're just going to be making a basic dungeon and so obviously as usual you just need to go to file, data, make sure skyrim.esm is selected. You can use update esm if you want, it's entirely up to you, there's no real difference as of the moment. And press OK, you'll get the usual warning size, press yes to all as usual. <coughs> uh, what we're going to do is first save it as a plugin. Um, what we're going to call it, I'm just going to call it um, Test Dungeon because I'm not very imagin imaginative when it comes to names it seems. As you can see it saved this Test Dungeon.esp. So what we do now, it won't damage the game or what have you unless, um, well it won't damage the game, whatever. Anyway, you want to go into the cell view window here and click on the AAA triple A markers. You'll come up with this list. So I'm just going to go and press view. So it comes up with, with the box there. That's what's in the markers. I know, not very exciting. What we need to do is duplicate this cell. So right click, scroll down there to duplicate cell. And you'll find the AA markers copy 0000. zero, zero, zero. Uh, go ahead and rename this to what you want. So press F2 when it. Oh, uh, didn't even need to then. Anyway, press F2 and then change the name. So I'm just going to call this test AAA test done AAA for the um. So it's at the top of the list, so I can find it easier instead of scrolling. <coughs> and uh, da, 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 da. AAA test dungeon. Okay. View. Now what you want to go and do is delete all these markers and the ENC symbol there but leave the nav leave that nav mesh bit there let's go ahead and delete press save and I'm just gonna go to a different cell for now what, you need, what this does is sometimes when you delete things um, the objects still stay in the cell view list here <laughs> I don't know why it does it, it's glitchy I suppose, but if you just click on a different cell view and then click back to your one, as you can see, it's all done and dusted. Right now what we're going to be doing is just using, um, creating maybe a small room with two corridors and a big room. And we'll be using this as the basis for future mods for this creating a dungeon series. Uh, future tutorials, sorry, not mods. Um, so, what you want to do is go down to world object in the object window, go all the way down to static right here, go down to dungeons, and we're going to be using Nordic because that's already open. And what we're going to do, we're just going to first of all create a small room. And you've got the small rooms here, SM rooms, SM for small, and SM halls for the corridors. Same here with the big rooms and big halls, BG halls, BG rooms. And then you've got a variety of other things which, uh, for the purposes of this tutorial, we don't need to go into. We just want to get the basis down, done and dusted before we expand. <clears throat> Sorry, still got that bloody cold. Um, so first of all, make sure we have this in the view box 
I'm just going to create a small room first. Um, let's find small room front, as you can see. First bit of our wall. Go ahead and double left click on that. On the X, Y, and Z in the position um, column, I'm just going to go ahead and make them all zero so it, it centered that singular object that's so right in the middle of the room. Uh, uh, I'm going to do now go back into the cell view, obviously, because you can't see it in the render window anymore. Just click on the, uh, your object you just put in and view. And it will come into view. And now what I'm going to um, you also on side note you want to make sure snap to grid and snap to angle are clicked so uh, they're pressed down like they are now and it just makes it easier for room building so there's no gaps and no errors and what have you so what I'm going to do is just duplicate this piece of wall so control D with the object highlight with the window open properly sorry control D and there we go it's done and just drag it to the left or the right or however you wish to place it <clears throat> now I'm going to put the corner in for, for a room a box type room a simple box room you want the nor room small core in which is Nordic room small corner in zero one is what I'm going to use obviously you can use corner out if you want to make your rooms more um, diverse corner in obviously comes in there that way corner out is there that way so you can sort of create whatever room type you want so I'm just going to do core in one drag it into the render window but make sure your cursor is slightly like like it is now slightly where you want it to go because then it will place that piece of corner not in the exact position but it will be at the same level so it, you don't have to fiddle about too much so you just want to drag it but by clicking on the object left click hold and just move the mouse to drag so I'm just going to duplicate that corner and just drag it over to this side and rotating is make sure you've got the object selected hop the uh, mouse hovered over right click and hold and just move the mouse so that's one of the walls done. Now when it comes to walls in normal rooms, um, this doesn't uh, caves and rooms are built differently. Uh, caves you can pretty much do what you want with how you want with what you want blah 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 but with rooms there's a, a specific way to do things. This is the front wall you used front pieces. These two pieces here here and here have to be side walls and the uh, piece opposite this wall here has to be another front wall not sure why they did it like that but we have to work with what we've got so what that does if you use front wall all around um, there'll be texture issues and it will just look a bit weird and very wrong so I'm going to go and use side right there drag it over and then just control D duplicate as you can see sidewall if you want to select multiple objects it's control and then left click on the object I'm just going to duplicate those two drag them over turn around Obviously, as you create more dungeons, get used to the creation kit and what have you, the dungeon creation becomes a lot easier. <coughs> and for now, I'm just going to get those corners and the front wall pieces. Is that the corner piece? No, it's not. Got a bit of sidage there. Uh, just co um, duplicate that lot, drag it down rotate obviously you, you can use whatever dungeon room pieces you want really I mean there's ice variants and snow variants I do believe or you can mix, uh, mix and match from different sectors from Nordic to mind to Imperial if you want you know go crazy 
but just for now it's just a simple room we're doing for now and as you can see there's a big hole in the floor so what we need to use is the mid pieces so I'm going to use nor room small mid zero one and just drag and drop it into place and just make sure it clicks all together as you can see it's connected fantastic so I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate these left click duplicate yeah voila as you can see there is our room fantastic if you want to view the room pieces the wall pieces and what have you you can just right click preview I'm going to come over that. In fact, I might even just use just to add a bit more uh, depth to, to the room slightly. I didn't mean to delete both of them, so I'll undo that. And if you accidentally delete something, as usual, edit, undo will replace the object for you. So I'm just going to go in and put this nor room small mid zero two piece in just to put in a column and make it look a little nicer there we go that is our first room fantastic so I'm just going to go ahead and save now what we need to do is <coughs> obviously add corridors fantastic so if you go down to SM halls <coughs> Anyone? I've done this wrong. Hold the phone. I want an exit piece, don't I? Exit SM. Right. When you need corridors, you need to connect exit pieces to exit pieces. Um, in the SM halls and the BG halls, small hall um, rooms, small rooms and um, big rooms categories, you'll have exits and entrances, um, and there'll be front and exits exits and entrances and sidewalls exits and entrances so obviously as you're going through you want to let's say I'm going to get rid of that sidewall piece if it will let me thank you and I'm going to find a wall side exit piece eventually There we go. Nor room, small wall side, X, EX, smut, zero, one. That's what we need. Oh, didn't mean to put caps lock on that. As you can see, it's a piece of wall. Need to rotate because I was being uh, a bit of a spaz. There we go, and there's our exit to a, a corridor for that one room. I'm just going to go ahead and save it quickly. You want to save often and well, not in case you it balls um, it up or something goes wrong. And now we can go into the SM halls. Um, just to make the basic corridor hallway, you just. <clears throat> I'm just going to use a nor hallway uh, small one one way zero one I'll get more words out eventually of course I've made another rookie mistake I need an exit piece or entrance piece if I can find out uh, there's exits but I don't want ice I want that one It's not the one one I want. Stairs, freeway, ice. 